Herzlich willkommen zurück am Swiss Photo Day. Ich hoffe, wir haben einen spannenden und auch einen erholsamen Break gehabt. Wir können Network und das Tool können nutzen. Jetzt ist Zeit für wirklich ein Highlight von heute. Mein nächster Gast, der reist als Hochzeitsfotograf rund um den Globus. Die Hai ist er am wunderschönen Lago di Como in Italien und er fotografiert Hochzeiten aber in der ganzen Welt an den wirklich spannendsten Locations. Er gönnt auch weltweit Awards und Preise mit seinen Bildern. Er ist Sony Ambassador und er ist vom ESPW zum besten Fotograf der Welt gekürt worden. Und jetzt ist er da bei uns. Herzlich willkommen, Cristiano Benvenuto. It's a pleasure to have you here. Grazie, thank you very much. I hope you're well. Did you have a good trip? Yes, yeah, it was not too far. Three hours and I'm here. Very easy good. train journey. Very easy. Very sustainable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> not taking the flights. Yes, no, no, no. Cristiano, your career is really incredible. You started photography as a hobby, as many people do. Yeah. And now you're one of the best known wedding photographers all over the world. How did that happen, that journey? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever think it was going to be that? It was a long time ago, but um, it starts everything because I was not rich. Mm -hmm. So if you want some camera, second hand camera, you have to work to get it. Mm -hmm. So now you can buy camera for 10,000 euro. Before, 200 was already enough. So I start to buy a camera in um, in a second hand shop, and I work for some photographer to earn money and to buy new lenses. Uh, so my hobby is slowly but slowly become my job. So you really came from zero and you really built yeah. this from second hand camera, yeah. finding lenses, this and now you've really made it to the top in your field. One might say, yes. Sometimes I wonder Not only about you and I say <laughs> that you've been awarded with prices and you have also a really unique style. You use a lot of wide angle lenses, which is um, is unusual also yeah. for portrait or couple true. pictures. Um, why do you choose to do that and how would you describe your style? So about the wide angle is because I'm a wedding photographer, destination wedding photographer. So I go around the world where the people come in Italy, Tuscany, Lake Como, Venice. And it's important for them to see their self, but even the environment, the landscape. In the location. Yeah, if you are in Venice, I cannot take a portrait of you and, and don't show where you are. Mm. So the, the wide lens for, was for me the, the, the choice to show you where you are. So maybe they come in America, they're back in America, they can show what they have around. How beautiful is Italy, how beautiful is the world. But maybe my more famous picture I have with wide, wide angle, but you have to alternate, use even the tele, even the normal. So that's why I use always three cameras on me, wide angle, normal and tele. So I doesn't change my lens. <laughs> so you with come me. covered in camera. Yes, yeah, <laughs> everything with, with me and everything very easy to take on. You have an assistant who helps you? Uh, sometimes, sometimes, but... Yeah. But sometimes uh, also you go alone with three cameras. Yes, exactly. Wow. And you have to trained. put three things in one picture. You put the location, you put the, you, it's also a beauty photography. You have a bride and it's also yep. fashion. You have an yes. amazing dress that is, you know, somebody has put a lot of thought into choosing. Exactly. And then there's also a husband that is kind of on the side. Ah, sometimes. <laughs> and you have to capture love as yeah. well. Uh, so yeah, it's a emotion. challenge. Yes. Yeah, emotions. Yes. I'm not How do you manage? Uh, so I'm not a very romantic photo photographer. Mm -hmm. Um, because I love to do wedding photography in another way that the people imagine normally. Yes. Not only soft, romantic, sweet. This is also can happen mm -hmm. maybe during the reportage. It happened uh, a case or hug or emotion or cry, but it's not all this. I love to mix every kind of photography in one. Yeah. So there is a lot of landscape in my picture. I love landscape is the base for me of photography. A lot of portrait, fashion, glamour. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's a difficult job, because you have to mm, go out of the normality and try to do something different. It's different and you really chose this unique style. And I think anybody before they chose to book you, they would need to look at your work because otherwise yeah. they might have a misconception. But like, OK, it's the best wedding photographer. Exactly. And then they want some beauty shots. That's not what you're really I can do anything. You so can do that we okay. are so we I say we are mm -hmm. we are wedding photographer. Uh, 360 degrees, mm -hmm. we have to do everything. Beauty, fashion, close-up, okay. details, flower, we do everything. But that's, you say something important, you have to choose your own photographer. 
Uh, so you don't make mistake. You are happy with him. You love him. So spend Trust. all the money you want because yeah. this is is the moment in the life where you ha where you have a photographer for you. It's yeah. not so usual to have a photographer for you all day. No. So it's uh, it's an important moment. You can art direct your own day. Yeah. Thank you so much for the moment, Cristiano. Now we of course we want to see and maybe some of our viewers today they don't know about you yet. Uh, okay. So we will show a little bit of a short film about you and a shooting with the Sony Alpha One, so that we all get a little bit of a glimpse of what your work looks like, and then we'll be back. Alpha. Alpha. I'm a destination wedding photographer because I was so lucky to be born in a place like this. People come from every side of the world to, to, have, a, to have a wedding in Italy. They want to, to see what we have around, the villa, the lake. This is my meaning, is to mix the two things, the people and, and landscape. This is the goal of my photography. I started using the Sony Alpha system two years ago, and this was a big revolution for me. Uh, it's so easy to work with the mirrorless and so beautiful. You can concentrate uh, to your idea, to your creativity. Sony Alpha One is the perfect camera. You can have a lot of resolution, it's 50 megapixels. Is a very fast autofocus. You can have a wonderful viewfinder and 30 frames per second, everything in one. I think that Sony Alpha One is the future, it's something really amazing, and uh, I want to use this camera forever. Cristiano, thank you for this impression. This is really shows the work that you do, all this moodiness, also this beauty, and your love for the Sony Alpha. Why, <laughs> why did you fall in love with this camera? So this was exactly one year ago, yeah. during the lockdown. So we do this, uh, was cold. That's why there was no people in the video. No, exactly. <laughs> it was cold, very yeah. cold. But they called me from Japan. They write me from Japan and say, we choose you as a testimonial for the new product. It was a secret product. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, wow, the Japanese called me for this. It was a great honor. Honestly, it was so good. Nothing to do in that month. <laughs> it was everything closed. You had time. And <laughs> yes, and it was everything secret. This camera was covered by tape. Wow. And I said, wow, what is this camera? It's, it's, it's amazing. And uh, so it's first of all from the boy in the second hand shop till here is an incredible journey. This to is be true. chosen yeah, by Sony. Exactly. To be their ambassador. Ambassador is already fine, but they chose me to promote this camera. Yeah. This uh, was really, really incredible. More than ambassador, I mean, this yes. is just uh, something amazing. But you tell me about my journey from the beginning till now. Wow. Sometimes I don't know what happened in a few years. Yes. Because <laughs> my studio is open only b uh, before I was working for somebody else. Uh, my studio is only 10 years old mm. and I really do a lot of things. Uh, it's incredible. But, but the secret also, it looks so simple and so easy in this video. Like it just, you know, it just happens and yeah. the picture, it, it, it all looks so effortless. But I'm sure that it's hard work and that it's challenging. What do you think is the most difficult part of your job? Oh. Is everything difficult? Mm. And you have to always to keep in mind, oh wow, what I'm doing now, what I have to do. So, the, you know, the, this was a model for the camera, for, for the video. But normally the bride is just a bride, just the people. Mm. So they are scared and maybe they tell you, I'm not so nice like your bride. But all oh. the brides are the same. It's the, the photographer can make the difference. So you have also self-image that you need to like pick up the person sometimes and yeah, kind and of make them feel beautiful, make them feel proud and it's strong. It's really not easy. There is not a secret about that. But the most big secret to start uh, from the pizzeria wedding, <laughs> where I start, like everybody in the small places, to go the in pizzeria a pizzeria wedding. I yeah, like this. Yeah, you can imagine <laughs> a typical yeah. Italian wedding from the normal class, and then maybe you stay at the top of the wedding. So you are always the the same person. You have always to say, "I have to do more. It's not enough. I have to do better." So mm. you're not happy with your work sometimes, or you're critical? No, 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 no. 
I'm not so good. I try. <laughs> I can become better. This yeah. is the secret, I think. I'm not so good. I'm That's not also so the secret to stay interested in your work. Otherwise, if you think I'm the best at this, it starts to get boring, and then you want to retire. No. Then it's just a job, and a job is boring less everyone, every job. Mm -hmm. So when you travel, maybe ten hours in airplane, then it's getting boring. But if you are happy to go, you are traveling. Say, okay, let's go. Let's see. But sometimes I don't meet the people before, so they come from America. I meet them in a day of the wedding. So you have wow. to be very quick, open. You speak with them before? Maybe sometimes mm. in the web, um, by Zoom or mm. like this. Mm. But um, not, not too much. It's different. The day of the wedding, everything changed. The people are nervous. The people have big expectations, for example. Exactly, huge yeah. expectations. Yeah. And, and if it's something isn't right, yeah. like what if, what if it rains? What if it's dark? How yeah. do you handle these yeah. situations? It's raining, it's dark. The sun of July is the most uh, terrible yeah. that you can During find. During the noon, yeah. yeah exactly. Wow. Maybe the ceremony is 2 o'clock in the noon. So, wow, no. And, and you have to say to yourself, oh, what I have to do now, what I can do, this, and then everything goes good. What I like somebody say about my picture, that they are pose, but they look natural, they look mm -hmm. in the movement. And this is something that is inside of you, is your talent. But you make that come out in people, because the people yeah. that you're working with, they're not professional models, they're not exactly. actors, they are people who are getting married on a day that is extremely emotionally um, yeah. stressful also yeah. for them and the excitement. It is. And you manage to get them I looking like they're professional models and, and posing and making it look natural. How do you do that? I try, always. And you meet them <laughs> only on that day. Yeah, I try. <laughs> Maybe there is a mother that is nervous, the father that is yeah. <laughs> that, So everything is, uh, is not as you think. It's not going everything easy. Is there a lot of stress also, emotional brides? Yeah, maybe you need time for your picture. You said to the bride, give me one minute for a picture. And she's always late with the makeup. But this is what makes every day different than the other. I had for an example, I had in August a uh, wedding from a couple from Texas. Mm -hmm. They come in Italy with the big expectation. It was raining all day, rain, <laughs> completely, <laughs> completely. And I say to her, you, you will see, the picture are even better with the rain. Mm -hmm. So I have the big yes. cloud, the rain, umbrella, the wind, uh, make for me something better than bright day, full of sun, for example. Mm -hmm. So it's not important what you find. It's important and that you are ready. she was happy afterwards with yes, the picture, with the lot, rain. You managed to Maybe not with the rain totally. And when I'm, I meet her in a room, she looks at me like this. <laughs> it's a bad day. I say, no, don't worry. The mm, rain is beautiful, just many, m not so many people understand it. Yeah, and we, yeah true. The, the, the sky is different. It's mm. more dramatic. And the wind makes the veil blue wow. naturally. It's so cool. I, I love that picture. This is what I love. Sometimes I have to take care to don't use too many pictures that are strong or rainy or dramatic mm -hmm. because I can understand that people want uh, to have also something sunny bright. or, or lightful. Pastel colors. <laughs> yeah, or pastel <laughs> colors. So <laughs> we're we're going to show some everything. pictures now um, of your work and then okay, we can maybe comment you. and have a look. We will, is, we will see it that's on the screen. A lot. Wow, what is happening here? Oh, this, this looks is stunning. This is Tuscany. Yeah. Wow. And this is a theater, we enter in a theater, say, can we take some picture? This is Rome, the yeah. beautiful palace in, in Rome. How do you manage that there's no people there? Do you edit them out or do you go in the morning? It, it's a people where it's not allowed to be. Ah. But we try to enter, we, you ask, have we are Italian. So this it's also planning. Yeah, you yeah, wow. have to be not shy, not shy for this job. Mm -hmm. These are <laughs> imagine, the last one is in Lithuania during the workshop. This, this is, is Bosnia, it's a beautiful place in Serbia, sorry. Yeah. I love I've, I love movie. Yes. So a lot of my inspiration come from the movie, mm -hmm. and this is so important because the movie can have to tell something, story, composition. This is what I want. Mm, it's beautiful. Is <coughs> to transform a wedding picture. Sometimes they are very normal, let's say, in something unique. Mm -hmm. So for example, you can print this picture and have in your home. Yeah. Even it's if art. you are not a bride. No. no? Yeah. What I mean. Yes. I don't know how to say in, in English, but... It's, it's, it's like a, a piece of art. And here we is see it, the, dark, the dark sky. Yeah. We also see, like, uh, you desaturate, like, you take a lot of the color out and you sometimes you make it very moody. Yeah, it's, this it's is... It's very unique. But wha what he's really want to tell you is that, uh, okay, if I take a nice picture of you, nice portrait of you, it's nice for you. 
is it good to remember? Okay, maybe for the magazine, of course. You, when I'm you old, I can look at it and be like, ha. It's a personal, <laughs> it's a personal <laughs> picture. Yeah. No, and maybe, uh, okay, if the bride is nice as you, beautiful mm -hmm. as you, it's easy to make everybody say, wow. Mm -hmm. But then it's not enough to have a nice people, beautiful people. You have to transform somebody nice. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're shy, maybe they work in the office all day, maybe they're advocate, mm -hmm. but that day they are bride. Mm -hmm. Princess, not mm -hmm. princess like uh, Walt Disney, but um, are the people of the day. So the groom is not so They're important. They're larger than life. <laughs> yes, I noticed, I noticed two things. So we have a lot of black and white photos, mm. and also I think a lot of your photos that get awarded are black and white. That's one thing I noticed. And then I noticed that there's not a lot of grooms in your photos. <laughs> you kind of uh, you kind of let them leave, or ha what's the <laughs> process? Like you take 10 pictures with a groom, and then so you're like, okay, now <laughs> we take uh, 1,000 pictures with a bride. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, in, in, um, in a fashion photography, you have a model. Yeah. With a nice dress, a nice situation, so you are uh, only with her. Mm -hmm. Now, honestly, when I s deliver 500 pictures mm -hmm. to my client's file, you have everything inside. A lot of color, a lot of groom. Uh, but when I can do what I want, maybe the groom is a little bit shy or boring to, s to pose, and the bride not, she's happy. I can say, you can go to drink. They're very happy to go to drink. They're happy. <laughs> with yeah. a friend, you're very happy. So and it's more important for the bride to take the photo on that day. Is and the, the groom day. is... It's the day of the bride. Mm. The groom mm. say yes only because the bride wants. <laughs> okay. This is the secret. He does way. whatever. He, he's already practicing for later on. Exactly. <laughs> okay. It's very important. <laughs> this is the first rule of the wedding. Yeah. Now, I have a lot of <laughs> couple picture, but yeah. when I can do what I want, this is the my moment. Mm. So... Um, you have to do your own photos. Mm -hmm. After this, is only is also yours became yours picture. Mm -hmm. But if I love the photo, then it's good for everyone, for yes. the bride, for a guest, for somebody that I want to create something different than only wedding. I am in a wedding, but I'm doing something else. Do you um, also get requests for other ki kind of bookings, like, or do you only do weddings? I did before photojournalism in the world, uh, India. Big, big events, something, but now it's a little bit difficult to work in that field. So, but, but, but my wedding is not something like uh, in a second plane. It's not a B-side. It's the same. It's, it's very important. Then it's depending which kind of wedding you do. Maybe you can do the very small wedding at your home with your friend. It's fine. But when you go, for example, in America to take a wedding in Miami, they call you from Italy. Mm -hmm. So you have a big expectation. Yeah. That Shy, uh, shake a little bit, say, so what I have to do? It. And how long do you stay there? What does the trip When I like? can, maybe it's in the winter. So I hear I'm a little bit easy. Uh, I can say maybe one week. Okay. I remember in Cambodia, we stayed for 20 days. Yeah. <laughs> I wow. take holiday and wedding. But some weddings in other cultures also take like a week. Yeah, sometimes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. In <laughs> India, in India is incredible. I made a wedding in Varanasi, you know, yeah. the only town of India. Yeah. <coughs> and it was v very beautiful. It's incredible. They have thousand guests. Yeah. You, you don't know what is going to happen. Wow. It's, it's, uh, it's uh, really amazing. Maybe you're maybe you're looking for something and then you hear a music, then it's the groom that comes by the horse yes. or by the elephant. Wow. And then for the photographer, it's incredible. It's incredible. It's like a children in a candy shop, we say, in Italy. Yeah. The you same. don't know, and also like a surprise box, you don't know what's going to come out. It's not so the job. you're traveling also around the globe, and we're going to talk a little bit more about this later. But first, we'll do a mini commercial break, a clean web pause, and then we'll be back with Cristiano Ossinelli on Swiss Photo Day. Nach den Ferien sind die Erinnerungen an die unvergesslichen Momente. Fotobücher von bookfactory.ch Wir stehen für Schweizer Qualität und beste Fotobücher mit Tradition. Bookfactory.ch Schnell, die Leute gibt es uns gerade weg. <lacht> du verstehst doch, wie Brackpunkt ja, der kommt alles in ein Paket. Oh, super, jetzt haben sie es geskippt. Liefert alles in ein Paket. Brack.ch
Wir sind wieder zurück am Swiss Photo Day. Herzlich willkommen. Und der Mann, der neben mir sitzt, der ist zum besten Hochzeitsfotograf der Welt gekürt worden. Und wir schauen ein bisschen dahinter, wie das man das wird, was ihn ausmacht, was sein Weg ist. Und wie das auch ist, wenn man auf der ganzen Welt umreist, zum Hochzeiten zu fotografieren. Cristiano Stinelli, so nice that you are still here. So briefly before the commercial break, we started talking about traveling because <coughs> you live in Lago di Como, you live in yeah. Italy. You started photographing the Italian wedding, which is a destination many people will like to do their weddings, but I think it's a summer season. Yes. And <coughs> so you photographing in Italy most of the time during the summer, is that correct? Exactly, yes. And then yes. during the winter, you are traveling the entire globe. Sometimes I do When it's nothing. not a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. It was not good in these two years. Mm -hmm. Next year I have a beautiful wedding in Mont Saint-Michel, wow. in Bretagne. One in the Caribbean, in Curaçao, mm -hmm. and uh, Miami. So, yeah, I travel maybe not a lot, but I did a lot of weddings in my career. I was the first one in Hong Kong. It was wow. beautiful. Yeah, you fall inside to the Chinese tradition. And then it's photojournalism. You look at what has happened, you try to be a little bit apart and to, to catch the picture. And then when you have a moment for the pose, you are the boss. So you say, we go here, we you check in Google where to go, what to do, who is the best place. And sometimes for a photographer, the best place for picture are not the nicest place. Mm -hmm. Not too sweet and not too commercial, but something different. But sometimes the client wants the commercial sweet things, no? Is it so you sometimes yeah. need to communicate yeah. a little bit and bring it's it across that you want to go a little bit more artsy? That's true, that's true. But you have to try to transform the normal and commercial place in something different. Like you see the picture from Rome, from that building of Rome, that totally everything but not normal. Mm -hmm. I trans you have to transform the place. Even when I go in Venice, it's full of normal place or New York. Yeah. It's very famous. Every corner of New York are famous for, for the movie. Mm -hmm. But I take my, mm, my customer from New York on a gondola. Yeah. In the central part, there is a lake with a gondola. I don't know wow. why. Wow. And I took a, a picture bit of, of this. Vibe. Yeah, exactly. It was a mixing. Okay. So you're and creative also and you plan also a little bit. And you think ahead of the time, yeah. what could I do in this location with this couple? Exactly. Like you, you come with a certain idea. Exactly. And the movie helps you a lot. I made a wedding in the desert of California after the movie Into the Wild. Mm -hmm. So I bring this customer from there from New York, uh, from Los Angeles. They never expect that places. Oh. So we've been in the uh, Joshua Tree National Park, be incredible places. So um, and one another thing that I want to say that uh, don't think, never think, oh, your wife, or your bride are beautiful. That is never, no, not always true. Your location are amazing. You can find a good location everywhere. There's everywhere, a beauty everywhere. everywhere. Mm. So you have to scouting the place live or Google. This helps a lot. And uh, maybe people that live in that area doesn't know that place. Mm. So you have to discover the place and transform every situation in the best situation. And these photos are always taking place on the wedding day or does it sometimes make sense to shoot before or after the wedding when yeah. you really have time to do a proper shooting? It's a good question because w if I go in Florida, at, uh, I've been in Florida one time, we had one day the wedding, so I never ask something to them, never steal the bride and groom for one hour. This is not nice. I don't like to go you away. You just stay around with the camera and kind yeah, of exactly something uh, normal. Mm -hmm. And the day after, we rent a uh, hairboat, the hairboat for the yes. Everglades, yes, and we yes. take an incredible picture. Mm, s when it's possible, it's nice to do something the day after mm -hmm. when they're not too drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. With the hung hungover, the, the yeah, face, you know, you will have to so make sure that. So maybe two days after, two days after. But, but it's good she can cool. wear the dress again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she can be bright this before. is true. If the breast dress isn't ruined, maybe you do yeah. it before. And what I love mm -hmm. is the elopement. Mm -hmm. So it's only bride and groom comes in Lake Como. We take a picture all day for me. That yeah. is long because you have to handle all day the pose and everything but it's beautiful because you have no distraction you have no people you have not the food time mm. maybe the best time of the day the food is ready so, yeah. oh no. so that is not easy job what, what, who's, what i want to say if we, we want to do this in the future maybe the, the boys like me from 20 years they want to start you have to know that it's not easy mm. totally not but uh, I, i'm here you need so to be stress resistant as well also, a lot, yes, right. yes, because some I work a lot. Sometimes I have five days, five wedding. Do you have brides freaking out because she thinks that there won't be a nice picture or do they trust you? 
Mm, this is a nice question. Because <laughs> so this is a scenario in my head with wedding that, you know, you'll have a, f a bride that's freaking out or parents-in-law. So, so I tell you already <laughs> yeah. what I don't like. The bride, they give me 2,000 things that I have to do. Mm -hmm. you have like to a do short this? list. Yes. Wow. Cake. Then it's not ring. good for me. No, <laughs> it's not good. It's Cake <laughs> and ring, of course <laughs> I did. But yeah. take a picture when I walk down and I look at you. Take a picture of me or my father that we kiss each other. Maybe mm. don't kiss each other. Mm. I mean, the yeah. list doesn't work. No. Doesn't work. No. If you choose me, let me do what I... Anyway. So they overplan and then you I need can to be like... I can take a picture take a and read a book. Mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. So that is a mm -hmm. wonderful question you asked. <laughs> so the best is when they tell me what I want, but they let me do what I can do maybe say this is the most important thing for me and then they let you so you kind of know what the client wants and then you can do your thing yeah but the best is why my bride has a long veil mm -hmm. because they see my picture mm -hmm. and they know i have to buy a long veil for to get the same exactly. so the best is when you choose somebody that at your, your style like a fashion if you love armani you don't love dolce gabbana no. so it doesn't ask to him to do something different exactly this is my opinion mm. and um so there is enough enough job, and we are everything we want to work very easy. So it's not nice when somebody is not happy at the end. For me, it's terrible if somebody say to me, "This I don't like your picture." But it's I'm sure your clients incredible. are always happy. Do you have clients who are afterwards like, mm. "No, n <laughs> honestly not," but in <laughs> thousand one can happen. Yeah, of course, yeah. and maybe they have different expectation, or but it's rare, mm. but can happen. Maybe it's because the wedding planner suggests me. Mm. or that they didn't even know and then they are completely sometimes they don't know your work mm -hmm. this is th is terrible <laughs> always choose your photographer by yourself you should get See. to know them because it's like art it's like it's really like art and not only from instagram because for example in instagram you show your pose your top mm. Look inside to the gallery to see a full wedding. Mm -hmm. This is very important. Yes. So um, you can discover that I do a lot of photojournalism. I love it. How many pictures <coughs> do you deliver to the client after a wedding, roughly? We say at least 500, but... Wow. <laughs> my yesterday we delivered a work... But you don't uh, edit them. See. Si. Wow, 500 si. pictures edited. See. Si. Sometimes thousands. So it doesn't matter if they are nice. I don't throw away nice pictures. There is not a limit. Mm -hmm. That's why it's not a job, it's something more, it's a passion. Wow. We just delivered yesterday a thousand pictures to the bride. Yeah. Because we have a lot of pictures of friends that's laughing, somebody's doing so something that you don't see normally in Instagram. That's Amazing. why it's a very complete job. Mm -hmm. Reportage, fashion, Amazing. geometry, it's everything. Yeah. It's not easy. But wow. But wow. it's nice. And you shoot um, weddings in, in Italy, European weddings that we know, but you're also going to other countries like India, and then it's completely yeah. different, and you don't know what's going to happen. What yeah. do you prefer? <coughs> ah, so your comfort zone is your villa, mm -hmm. where you stay maybe 40 weddings a year. You know every corner. You know what to do. But the light is always different. The bride is always different. The situation is always different. So maybe there they have a big expectation, but maybe today the day is not the same of the picture that I see. Mm -hmm. So um, I like to travel to see something different, but it's always uh, a challenge. I just made one month ago a wedding in Luzern to yeah. Burkenstork. Yes. You oh, say, oh it's a beautiful location. Yeah. Yes. It is beautiful, but when you are on the location, it's beautiful the view of the location. It's not easy to take picture there. Mm -hmm. So this is the challenge. So you have to run in half an hour to see where I have to go, what I have to do, because the expectation is big. So this is nice. So we can go on Instagram and see the picture. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm very curious. Just made it. And and another thing that uh, that I saw when we we were looking at your photos, a lot of black and white photos, and also the f photos that were awarded often they're black and white. Why do you think that is? Okay, so about the price is true because the judge mm -hmm. are photographers mm -hmm. and we love black and white. Uh -huh. For um, black and white is the photography, for me. Mm -hmm. When I made in the past some uh, reportage in India, I used to shoot in black and white because uh, you the, the picture have to speak without color. Mm -hmm. So it's easy in India, you know, the, the violet turbans and the nice scarf, uh, the color helps a lot. When you take away this information for a picture, the black and white tell the truth. So it's harder black and white? Or is it easier? Because some people say if you have a not so good picture, <laughs> make it black and white, it becomes better. 
<laughs> okay, <laughs> that's easy. true. You don't have to Th color this grade. <laughs> this is true. This is true. About the color grade and everything, it's true. But when it's in black and white, to be really wow, must be really something important. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's changed. The fashion has uh, ch changed a lot. So Instagram changed a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So now I do normally 80% color and 20% black and white, Ma even less. Mm -hmm. But when I have to mm, make a exposition, for example, I still love the black and white. Okay, no. so your ex exhibition. Beca maybe be because I come from photojournalism, mm -hmm. where the black and white is the truth. Wow. So interesting. Thank you so much for your time, Cristiano. Now, Prego. I'm very curious if our community, if you have any the community, if you have any questions, I've seen Thomas yet. Yeah, cool. Maybe oh, there maybe. weren't any questions. <laughs> oh, huh? let's see. Let's see. <laughs> let's see. Hello, Cristiano. <laughs> 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 Und hat's Fragen gegeben? Ja, ganz oh. viele wieder. Ja, der Thomas ist noch ein bisschen plus am Schreiben gewesen. Genau, ja. also ich habe ja, okay. ja, Many questions. Zählen. Wow. wow. <laughs> we'll have to so continue in one more hour. Let's see, yeah. see if let's I can do my best. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the first question is, um, what was your first camera that you had? Okay, it was a Canon FTB. Okay. Manual, only yeah. manual. The battery is only for the light meter, but okay. it's Very strong. It's yeah. I still have in my home. Oh, cool, oh. nice. See. Good. And then uh, Stefan is uh, asking you, how much does you, uh, uh, how much does a customer have to pay for a one-day wedding shoot? Team? Okay. Uh, that's it, this <laughs> no, no, it's not. It, it's, I'm <laughs> easy and open. So if you come in Lake Como and yeah. I have to come in five minutes to the location and I do ten hour yeah. wedding, I cost around three thousand euro. That for Switzerland is nothing. <laughs> I mean, the wedding in Italy is a lot, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's depending where you come from. It, yeah. It's depending how much you earn. But uh, if I have to go in New York for one week, maybe it's ten thousand. Yeah. Of course, okay. they pay for me everything: yeah. hotel, uh, fly. Hamburger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's cost differently, but uh, I'm not very expensive because the Italian photographer are not too expensive. Mm. Okay, very interesting. And um, Philip is also asking you how por how important is to speak with the couples before the shooting of the wedding begins? How important is that for you? Uh, m for somebody, maybe it's very important. For me, I have no time. So when I come in a room, yeah. The bride is there with the makeup. And you just start. <laughs> and I start. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I, don't, cool. I don't give space to say something. So I yeah. start like, no, no. That's a, I'm, I'm a shy boy. I was a okay. shy boy. Then with this job, you lose a little bit to be shy. And this mm. today, I was also shy before and come here. <laughs> but then it's normal. Nobody but would have ever you. noticed. This mm. helps you a lot because you have n never to be arrogant or sure. So, okay, it's not a nice bride. Let's do a simple job. No, mm. you have to do always your best. It's the secret of everything. Staying humble also. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So I don't speak a lot with them. But, but when I have time during yeah. the, the pose, the moment of the pose, I move them, I say, can I touch you? Because <laughs> sometimes they are like this, maybe a little bit robot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so okay. I try to do my best. Cool, thank you. <laughs> and the next question is, um, how much um, time you need for editing in photos? See? Mm. Um, how much you need for that? If you take one photo, how much can you say how much time you need for editing? Okay, so that is two different things. So if I have to do a book yeah. with 60 picture, you work a lot, maybe more with this uh, 60 picture. But uh, normally I deliver it like 1,000 picture, mm -hmm. so I, I, have to, I need to be a little bit fast. Okay. I'm <laughs> not a big editor. I think that if you work l too much, on a picture, yeah. that is getting a little bit fake. Okay. Mm -hmm. You stop your creativity, you stop your uh, naturality. Okay, it's, it's mm -hmm. getting a little bit fake or a little bit stuck, you know, mm -hmm. like wedding picture. Mm -hmm. Eight yeah. that mm, so a thousand picture, I need four or five days. Okay, but I'm a little bit quick, yeah, mm -hmm. so I cannot yeah. open each picture and. So you have like presets or things? Yes, yeah, yeah. this of course. For example, I shot. 6,000 photos, mm -hmm. I choose 1,000, the first selection, then I use the preset on all 1,000, and then okay. I open each one to change, obviously, check. what you need, okay. and to check everything. Wow, quite one a process. Though. Yeah. <laughs> we have time for two more questions? Yeah, two more. <laughs> yes, okay. you have to choose um, wisely. <laughs> good. Um, Dan from Monica, do you also um, take other photos for your hobby? And which, ki which kind of photos you make there for okay. your hobby? Okay. If it's not wedding. <laughs> okay, okay. So, this is a nice question. Yeah. <laughs> so after 20 years, not many pictures now. Okay. 
but before and during my career a lot a lot i start with the film infrared film oh, okay. to do something really strange by my by myself and then i travel a lot before then if i can sail some job of mine i do if i not cannot sail i do exhibition or something else so i travel a lot also for my holiday i spend my holiday to take picture so india for example is the best place where you have to go Okay. Photographer have to go in India, have to go in this place to find something different, because with our eyes we see something different than the normal people. We're looking for something different. This is very important. Thank you. We'll go to India. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's go to India. Yes, <laughs> book it's possible the again. flight <laughs> next time. <Yes. laughs> um, so the next question um, from Urs: um, Which part of the wedding do you mostly like in a role as a photographer? In a row? In a row as a photographer. In your role, like okay. in a row. So when drinking and eating? <laughs> 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 no, depend it's depending where you are. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, that is not easy, uh, which is the best moment. So the getting ready gives you the calm. Mm -hmm. There is still the beginning. Everything is quite calm, yeah. but <laughs> we have time. She's sitting there. After can be a mess. Okay. So we are late. We have to run. We have it's to go. So there is not a moment. But all the wedding is nice. What I don't like is the end. Maybe the heat, the yeah. dance is okay, but everything is gone for me. The, the most tension moments are gone. So mm -hmm. you don't stay for when they are drunk and they're partying. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> yes. Late uh, at <laughs> night, yeah, it can yeah. also yeah. get very good. Yeah, pictures, this is like cool. It's true. It's true. <laughs> to show like the yeah, difference from the that day. That is true. <laughs> so you never know when is a good moment. So maybe have long days the, also. This is <laughs> the question. You never know when is the good time. Yeah. But what I love really is the moment of the pose. Mm. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's only 20 minutes when you have no time to use too many equipment. So I love flash, I love light, but sometimes we have to go in a boat very quickly. Yeah, so you have to be yeah. really quick and so train a lot. I'm a good cyclist. This is a secret. <laughs> so learn <laughs> English, Re learn English is the first English sport, sport. Fitness. Pure <laughs> fitness <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, cool. and take a lot difficult. of picture. Cool. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Cristiano, thank you so much for being here today, for taking the time and giving us this insight uh, mm -hmm. into this world of destination photography. Maybe just one little last question. You've been to so many places. Is there any place where you would still like to go? Do you have anything on your bucket list? Ah. <laughs> Maybe Japan. Yeah. I, I was in Japan for... Um, for holiday and I take picture in the market, mm. but maybe Sony, you hear, they hear me? Mm. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I want to take some Sony picture with a, with a model in, in Tokyo, um, Kyoto. Oh, nice. This is mm. what I want the next. I have a cool. feeling so never, that never be happy. So there is something more. Always grow. Yeah, I have a yeah. feeling that it's going to happen for you with Sony choosing you for their Oops. campaign as well, yeah. being so ambassador. Yeah, there Let's might go. be a next campaign and Let's then maybe go. Tokyo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Amazing. Yep. Thank you <laughs> so much Thank you. for being here and for these insights. Liebe Zuschauerinnen und Zuschauer, ich hoffe, ihr habt es auch sehr spannend gefunden, die Eindrücke zu bekommen von so einem Top-Fotograf, der wirklich um den ganzen Globus reist. Und gerade in der Hochzeitsfotografie, da habe ich auch etwas gelernt, so viele verschiedene Aspekte eigentlich. Kann ich das innen zusammenbringen in ein Bild, in die Location, die Emotionen und auch die Beauty? Also das ist wirklich sehr, sehr eindrücklich gewesen. Und ja, es ist unglaublich, aber es ist wahr, wir sind schon in der Hälfte vom Swiss Photo Day ankommen. Das heisst, es ist jetzt <lacht> Zeit, um etwas zu essen. Ihr habt es vielleicht schon gespürt. Vielleicht nur den Morgen ein bisschen Mittagspause äh, ist da. Und natürlich könnt ihr nicht nur äh, euch verpflegen, etwas essen, etwas holen, sondern ihr könnt jetzt auch noch mal ein bisschen networken, natürlich alle unsere Tools benutzen. Und bei uns da ist es aber nicht einfach Sendepause eine Stunde lang, sondern wir haben für euch etwas vorbereitet. Es gibt jetzt gerade ein sehr persönliches Interview mit dem Stefan Forster. Er ist Natur- und Landschaftsfotograf und er bereist rund die Hälfte des Jahr die Welt. Und zu seinen Kunden gehören Netflix, BBC und National Geographic. Und er erzählt wirklich sehr persönlich im Interview dann über den Mittag. Und ihr seht es jetzt auch schon eingeblendet. Am Nachmittag geht es extrem spannend weiter. Wir haben viele, viele Highlights. Wir schalten live auf Nepal. Wir reden aber auch über die juristische Situation in der Fotografie und überhaupt bei den Kreativschaffenden, auf was man sich da muss achten muss. Und es gibt Musik und es gibt sogar noch ein live portrait shooting wo man wirklich sieht, wie schnell das da gehen muss und wie das da ein gutes Resultat kann geben kann. Also es bleibt sehr, sehr spannend. Ich hoffe, ihr bleibt uns auch am Nachmittag erhalten. Ich wünsche einen ganz guten Mittag. Viel Spaß beim Interview schauen, beim Networken und wir sehen uns da wieder in einer Stunde. Bis dann.